All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And today we're going to talk about the Great Reset. All the Great Reset is about is getting this man out of the way. Because in reality, they're not after me, they're after you. I'm just in the way. That's what this whole... How do I say this? Cerveza Bugs, H-O-A-X, has been about. It's what the Russia, 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 H-O-A-X, was all about. It's what the impeachment, H-O-A-X, was all about. Because this man here is a capitalist. He is not a globalist. And they hate him, and they got to get him out of the way. Because he wasn't supposed to win in 2016. They cheated in 2016 also. Just not enough. They got fooled by how much support this guy had. So they really ramped it up this year to make sure. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me, they just do not like this man because he won't play along with them. Wise leaders always put the good of their own people and their own country first. The future does not belong to globalists. The future belongs to patriots. That was at the UN uh, last year. Uh, not long after he said that, out, out came the Cerveza bug. Here's our everybody's friend, Mr. Soros, who funds all of the liberal leftist causes. Let's hear what he has to say about Trump administration. Clearly, I consider the Trump administration a danger to the world, but I regard it as a purely temporary phenomenon that will disappear in 2020 or even sooner. It will disappear in 2020 or even sooner. So I wonder who was behind the funding of the impeachment and all that nonsense. Here's Trump once again at the World Economic Forum, you know, giving the globalists the middle finger. This is not a time for pessimism. This is a time for optimism. Fear and doubt is not a good thought process because this is a time for tremendous hope and joy and optimism and action. But to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow, we must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. These alarmists always demand the same thing, absolute power to dominate, transform, and control every aspect of our lives. Yep, and that's what they want to do, and this guy's in the way. That's why under no circumstances could he win the 2020 election because it'll set the Great Reset, which is actually the New World Order. They just change the name. That's what leftists do. They have focus groups and change the names of things so, so you can get a better reaction. Last year in Davos, well, almost last year, 2020 election will determine the fate of the world. Yes, it will, because it won't be going the way you want it to. And here's our <laughs> sissy boy from the north. Let's see what he has to say about this opportunity. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. There it is. Climate change. Now they've got to fold climate change into this because... The Cerveza, the Cerveza bug won't last forever, so they need something a little more long-lasting. And, uh, you know, with their word salad, they changed global warming to climate change because then you, no matter what, 
oh, that's climate change. So what is the Great Reset? What do the terms Great Reset, Fourth Industrial Revolution, and Build Back Better actually mean? Remember, this is Joe Biden's campaign motto, Build Back Better. Yeah, that's also the Great Reset's verbiage. The Great Reset not only ties you to to it through an electronic ID linked to your bank account and health records, but even gives you a social credit idea that can run every facet of your life. While the current pandemic is being used as justification for the movement, the agenda has nothing to do with health and everything to do with a long-term plan to monitor and control the world through technical surveillance. In other words, the world will be reset to depend on digital technocracy run by self-appointed elitists. I'm going to link, leave, I always leave the links to all these sources in the description. Go through here and read this because there's a lot of good information here. I won't, you know, read it all out to you. That'd get very boring. But the Great Reset has nothing to do with the virus, this pandemic, or anything else related to public health. The Great Reset is a coordinated agenda that has been years in the making. And this guy got in the way. <laughs> so that the, they're scrambling, they're panicking. They they had to cheat so hard this year they just they went nuts. They just couldn't lose. And I know it ain't over yet. Trump could still win this thing. The pandemic is simply being used as a convenient cover for an elitist globalist agenda that has been planned for decades. And Hillary was supposed to be the president, and that would have made it smooth as silk to just transition in because Obama got the ball rolling and Hillary was supposed to put the hammer down and seal it up. The Great Reset is not the end of globalization. On the contrary, it is globalization turbocharged. As noted by Schwab in the policy book, The Great Reset... And speaking of Klaus Schwab, he is the founder of the World Economic Forum. And here's what he has to say about things going back to normal. So the second situation is that people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. (laughs) This is, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. And that's because they're not going to let it happen. This is another really good source for information here. Introducing the great word set, great reset. World leaders' radical plan to transform the economy. For decades, progressives have attempted to use climate change to justify liberal policy changes, but their latest attempt, a new proposal called the Great Reset, used to sit, used to be the New World Order, is the most ambitious and radical plan the world has seen in more than a generation. Every country from the United States to China must participate. And every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed, wrote Klaus Schwab, the gentleman we just heard from. Schwab also said that all aspects of our societies and economies must be revamped, from education to social contracts and working conditions. Although many details about the Great Reset won't be rolled out until the World Economic Forum meets in Davos in January 2021, the general principles of the plan are clear. The world needs massive new government programs and far-reaching policies comparable to those offered by American socialists such as Bernie Sanders and Ocasio-Cortez in their Green New Deal plan. Or put another way, we need to form a form of socialism, a word the World Economic Forum has deliberately avoided using, all while calling for countless socialist and progressive plans. So all of this has always been 
all about getting rid of this man. In reality, they're not after me. They're after you. I'm just in the way.